welcome back to day two here in X Games, California. We're just trying to mentally comprehend what went down in the women's street competition. Uh, just before those final four runs, uh, we asked Jason Ellis for his predictions, and Whoops. he went against his countrywoman, his young countrywoman, Chloe Lavelle from Australia, and you went with Mommy G, and Chloe said, all right, here's what you get. I'm probably going to get an email from Vegemite <laughs> complaining about my attitude. I'm sorry, I didn't see that coming. I, I really thought that she had a chance at second, but... I didn't know that she could do what she did. Uh, you, you didn't know that the 50 the 50, 50 kick flip out flip I, kick flip out to flat. I didn't know about that. I'm sorry, I did not know. But just overall, like we, we talked about what this women's competition could be. After you watch what it looks like now, what this field looks like, what do you see for the future of women skateboarding in the street? Uh, whatever the guys are doing, they're gonna do it. It's Pretty over much. now. There's no. Oh, I'm a girl. I don't do kickflip into kickflip out. Yes, you do. You do it all. Everybody does it all. Well, none it's mainly her. It's yeah. her, it's all your it, fault. It's your fault, Letitia. Everything that we just watched this this group of young girls do. You know, we, we were talking about your your debut at X Games in 2007 when you were 14, but you were by yourself against a bunch of grown-ups. Look what you started. Man, it's just crazy to think that I've been skating X Games for so long. And I'm the oldest one out there. <laughs> and You're not old, by the way. You're just older than well, everybody nice in the contest. Them, I'm like, I think I'm a little old, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, well, um, you know, it's amazing to be part of X Games for that long. And, you know, I've been skating X Games longer than they've been alive. Yeah. Listen, only two of the kids in the field during the final were alive when you started skating X Games. The rest of them weren't born. And those two were like, were like this big. So to them, you've always existed in the world. Yeah, you realize that, right? Like the way you skated in X Games when you first started has made all these girls know that it's possible by the things that you were doing that no other girl was doing at the time. It's, to me, it's just crazy to think that I started skating because I fell in love with it. I never thought I was gonna be a professional skater one day. Yeah. And I never thought I'd be inspired girls to skate, you know? A big and, part. It's amazing to be where I am today and, you know, all I want to do is keep skating, keep inspiring more people into skateboarding and I'm not done yet. I'm old, but I'm not done yet. <laughs> I love that you came here to say that. Well, look, your, your six gold medals, five in street, one in real street, all the things that you're doing in the race car, jumping out of planes, you are setting the standard for what it means to be a, a multi-hyphenate woman athlete in 2023. So we just want to congratulate you. And thank give you. Give you your flowers, and we look forward to more. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys, thank awesome. you. Awesome. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. I'm, I'm, maybe there's a place you can go skydive nearby, I'm not sure. We should race. <laughs> I'm down. I've been racing for two years now, and it's amazing. Yeah, I love racing too, so I get it. All right, I think these two are going to meet out in the back country and drive some cars. Uh, let's check in with social media and see how our friends are responding here uh, today to what do you folks at home have to say I'm, I'm excited for what kind of tweets we're gonna hear well if you're not following us at x games make sure that you do let us know how uh, you are enjoying x games california we welcome in oh uh, look at this chloe with the first gold and then ah uh, here for the jason ellis Wow. Barbie Corn. That is short. I am sorry, everybody. Yeah, but the, the movie Barbie debuted this weekend, and Wait. so you have, you've, you've been given Barbie Corn. Congrats. <laughs> I didn't know they were making me stand to make fun of me. I, I just, I'm, just, I'm just here. Hey, as you can see, a, a, another legend has entered the building, uh, the one and only Jamie Bestwick. Sir, it is, it is great to see you. It's been a long time. First off, you're... Your impressions as, as a veteran of, of, of X Games of old and what that energy felt like, to, what are you feeling here in Ventura here at X Games California? It's like the X Games of old. You we're know, back. Yeah, we're back. You walk through the crowds, you feel the anticipation, everybody's jostling between venue to venue. You know, we've got Skateboard Park, we've got BMX Dirt, and it, it's just that atmosphere that as a competitor, you love walking amongst because it, it prepares you for what you're about to go into, and you love it as a fan because there's no better place on this earth than right here this weekend. Yeah. 
He's know, right. After uh, the X Games yesterday, when I got back to the room, I looked in the mirror and I was like, what happened to my face? Because <laughs> I thought I was still at the first one where I didn't look so bad. No, we, <laughs> you, 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 you just, you just, it, it's called wisdom. It, it's, it's, just, it's just wisdom. <laughs> oh, I got a lot of wisdom going on around here. Listen, you know, X Games is a family. Action sports is a family. You see the way the athletes celebrate each other and root for each other. And so when we lose someone in our family, it, it is devastating. You're wearing that T-shirt that says Pat Casey on it, who we recently lost. First, tell us what he meant to the BMX community and, and what it's been like for the community to grieve. You know, losing a legendary rider like Pat has been very, very tough. I, I think this one hit home very hard to, to, to us all. You know, we've, we've been unfortunate to lose a, a lot of legendary riders in the past, but this young man was something special. He was one that uh, lived for the thrill of competition. His, uh, his do or die approach to riding was just inspiring. And the golden moments that he's provided the BMX community and the X Games over the years will shine equally as bright as the medals on display today. So. This is uh, with a heavy heart. It's it, it is a sad day, but also it's a celebration of, of of life, and it's a celebration of what Pat loved to do best, and that was get on his bike and ride. And with that, we're going to honor him right now with a, a tribute to the life and career of Pat Casey. Pat Casey always gave everything on the bike. Pat was creative, committed. His toughness earned the respect of his peers. His positive energy captured their love. Off of the bike, Pat was a hero. He brought out the best in people. Pat was a best friend to all, a devoted father to his children and a dedicated husband. The influence lives on. Pat's life was a celebration. BMX Dirt Gold, it's Pat Casey. He passed at age 29, but his spirit remained continues to inspire and his legacy is eternal. <laughs> I love you guys. Check, check, check. Guys, Brady Baker, the rookie leading the field.
Trixie and also lands smooth. High on the landing, he's a romantic role from one jump to the next, which is really important to do. Riders don't want to take penalties in the jumps because it shows that they're in control. You might see some of the cave ones with a little extra gas for a little bit trick, but that's, you know, they get on, they're not going to be penalized for that. But we do see some names up here. David Gossett, he's actually earned the Benton X Games gold medalist. He has actually won this event a few times prior. And he loves to get in that rare air of his third win with only Kyle Waldon, Corey Bowen, and Ryan Nyquist with the three dirt riders who ever got three gold medals. We then have Ryan Williams up there. Oh, really? You know that name? Because he already won a gold in his next. A beautiful beachside Saturday afternoon here in Ventura, California. We're at the county fairgrounds as it plays host to X Games 2023. And as the marine layer moves in, it provides the backdrop for Thayer's BMX Dirt. Welcome inside the booth, everyone. I'm Jimmy Coleman alongside Scotty Kramer. As always, we've got Kristen Beat in the field. And basically, when it comes into this, you have to talk about David Godziak. He's won this thing twice. He comes in the defending gold medalist. However, he finds himself the number three qualifier going into this event today. Yeah, so being number three qualifier, it doesn't mean much. When you see the level of competition that was yesterday, these guys brought their A game. I mean, we saw David do the twister over the first jump. It's a trick that actually won him. The the contest in previous years. So I expect to see even more big tricks come out of David today, and he's definitely gonna be bringing the heat. So our other top story out of that elimination round, it's an X Games rookie, Brady Baker, who was the top spot. He gets to ride last. The last time you've had a rookie take the top squad, top spot in dirt qualifying, you have to go back to Ryan Nyquist in 1997. Well, let me just say that. Brady didn't even exist at that point, okay, <laughs> which is insane to think about. But Brady Baker, a kid that actually grew up riding at my skate park. I was riding with him every day when I was 10 years old, when I when he was 10 years old, and I was going to the X Games. So to see him show up at his first X Games and qualify on the top of the spot, it's just unbelievable, and I know he's going to push the boundaries today in his riding. Well, for more on Brady, let's check in right now with Kristen. Guys, Brady Baker, the rookie leading this field into the finals. Now, after his qualifying run, I'm not sure who was more excited, Brady or his competitors. As their names were dropping down the leaderboard, they were smiling and cheering for him. But that is just the culture here at X Games. The athletes genuinely and collectively celebrate the progress being made in their sports. And that is so rare in sports. And it is something we are going to be able to witness here today as Brady Baker in his X Games debut will contend for a medal now. Scotty, I also asked him about his strategy. He said big tricks off of one and two. What do you make of that? Yeah, so it's going to be a lot of the rider strategy because one and two are the first and second jump. And both of these jumps are capable of doing some crazy, crazy big tricks, especially the first one. It's the biggest jump on the whole course and it's nearly 30 feet. It's uh, it's unbelievable how much airtime these guys are getting. But that second one, it's perfect for doing a trick that's going to be sending you straight up into the air. But, you know, you also have three and four. Three is uh, more of a long and low and not as much of a, uh, you know, max height jump. It kind of brings your momentum, but the fourth jump, the magic is going to happen for sure. And we're going to be seeing some serious, serious tricks put on that last one. Well, taking a look at that start list right there, we had 16 in the elimination round. We knocked the field down to eight. Another gold medalist returning to the lineup here that we haven't talked about yet. Logan Martin also owns a gold medal in this event. He was your number two qualifier, so he gets to ride second to last in this event. And look at that. Look how the fans have packed in here. I mean, it's the first time we've had fans back in the house for X Games Summer Edition since 2019. And well, this is about to be an epic showdown here on the dirt today. We started off with Mike Varga hailing from Canada. Now he's competing in four disciplines. He was your, he got the last transfer spot. He was hanging on to that number eight bubble qualifying spot. He gets a start in here in Thayer's BMX Dirt. Varga started things off similar to what we saw yesterday, but even better. Look at that flip over to whip. Center the front foot. Oh, just not enough speed to get over that one. But wow, he actually upped the ante from yesterday. He not only did the first trick better, but man, that second trick was a new one for us. Back with Mars from the tail is a serious trick to do mid set. So unfortunate there on that third hit, but that was a good save there. How it works, you see right there under their names, this is round one. They're going to get three attempts at it. It is the best run that counts as we take 
Another look at Mike Vargas first run. Yeah, look at the way he took his hands off. He had them all spread out. That looked like Matt Hoffman with the no-handed 900. But this is where things went wrong. You can see his back wheel landed on the top right there. And those landings are designed to carry momentum to the next one. And when the momentum stopped by his back wheel being up top right there, he had to call it quits in that run. So that one's going to be a throwaway run for him. The best possible run score you can get is 100. But good save right there. That one could have got nasty. He was looking like he was going to get tossed over the bars on that one, but rides away. Okay, as we look back up to the top of the roll in here, this is Brian Fox. We missed him being mixed dirt. He's coming off of an injury from August of last year. He fractured his T12 vertebrae after over-rotating a double backflip. He's back in the mix, making it in the final here today. Here he goes again. He sends a double backflip. He's got a perfect backflip 360, but that was a switch 360. Oh, but he's got a bail. Just did not have enough speed, similar to how Mike Bartle was. Yeah, they were talking about it in practice before we did elimination. He had a little bit of a tailwind coming down that roll, and people were overshooting that first set a little bit. So speed was an issue going over that second set right there. But how about the height? How about the intensity that Brian Fox had right out of the gate? Yeah, just like you were talking about, he ended up breaking it, you know, that bone in his spine from doing this double backflip and over rotating, meaning that he rotated too much and his momentum went back and he actually landed on his backside. So. But that second trick right there, see that backflip 360? That 360 was actually the opposite direction that he normally rotates. He's actually a goofy-footed rider, meaning that he's riding left and forward, but he also spins to the left. So that was opposite, and nobody is really messing around with that at all. He's got a bit of the back wheel on that one, and the right foot slipped off the pedals there. So he's down in the 30s as well. So that is going to be a throwaway run for him. So remember, three runs, it is the best run that counts out here. That's hopefully going to get you walking out of here with some X Games hardware today here in Thayer's BMX Dirt. As we take our first look at Ryan Williams, you've seen him in Big Air. You've seen him in Mega Park. You've seen him in Park Best Trick. This is the first time we've seen him in BMX Dirt here at the X Games. And guess what? He's in the finals. He's already got a gold in Mega Park from earlier this week i mean he's been absolutely unstoppable and he is on a different level here this weekend just couldn't get the bike back underneath the bone. Just there's so much happening in that trip right there. So much momentum. Not only is his body flipping forward, you know, with the bike initially, but he also takes the bike and flips it forward again while he's rotating. It's insane. It really is. Let's see if we get another look at it there. He's also riding injured as well. He injured his foot, one of his feet coming into X Games. I didn't know that till right before we came on air, and he dinged it yesterday after the elimination round. As we take another look here, this was the first hit. That double front flip is unreal. Real. And the fact that he's doing that and carrying momentum, but look at where things go wrong in this one, but let's look at where things went right. He actually got the rotation. It was coming around. You can see the bike actually does two full like rotations on it, but it, it looked like his pedals moved, so he couldn't put his feet back on comfortably and ride away. They were actually staying in vertical. We want them to be flat in BMX so we can distribute our weight equally on both. Okay, so he's going to check into the 30s there, 33.33 for him. Yeah, yesterday in his last elimination round, he was like, can I get a new foot, please? And I mean, still riding through the pain and still, I mean, just rolling the dice right out of the gate. So we bring up Andy Buckworth. He owns a gold medal in Dirt Best Trick. He also owns a big air bronze. X Games California 2023 is his 12th appearance. He's in for his first of three attempts. Double back with no hander over the first. 60 double downside tailwind, but he misses his pedals as well. That second set has given everybody troubles here in this first round. And, you know, I don't know exactly why it's happening, because we watched the competition yesterday where these guys made it all the way through it. Is it nerves? I don't want to say that, because these guys are the best of the best. Could it be the lack of wind compared to yesterday? That's a possibility as well. I was just about to ask it, because if you look at the flag up there, it's not really moving, so maybe if they suss it out, everybody's going to have to adjust when we get into rounds two and three. Yeah, but it looked like Andy just landed a little low on the double back foot. You want to use as much of that transition, of that landing, to get as much speed as possible, but you can't get too greedy, because if you do tag the top of it, that's going to disrupt your momentum as well. Okay, so we are halfway through the run order here. This is round one out of three. Eight riders in the field out here today at Thayer's 
BMX Dirt. They're each going to get three runs. As we've said, the best run counts. The maximum score you can get, 100 points. That's the scale that the judges are working off of. And speaking of the judges, let's talk about some of the things, the minutiae, if you will, that the judges are looking for in the middle of these runs that are going to put you on the podium. Yeah, so difficulty and amplitude, you know, that goes back to the difficulty of the tricks, how well you're executing them. But what the judges are also looking for, too, they want to see variety of tricks. They want to see you do tricks that are different from the rest of the tricks in your run because they want to see you d diversify your trick list. And, uh, I mean, what we saw yesterday, the guys that were rising to the top of the list, they were bringing some action-packed runs with so many different style of tricks. So we take our first look here at Jay Tui. He's a four-time X Games medalist. He owns two silver, two bronze, one of those coming off of a Mega Park performance just earlier this week. Wow, huge back of Superman Lady just switched his feet. Triple tail, support feet were just switched back to left and forward. Awesome carving under flip. And sending the nothing from right flip. Wow. That was an awesome first run for Jay. Listen to the roar of that crowd right there. So we've got our first complete run here by Jay Tui. He owns a Dirt Best Trick Silver, a Mega Park Bronze, a Dirt Silver from last year. But look at the extension off the butt. Nobody does it like Jay. The bike's flipping around without him, and then he's got to catch up with it. Do you imagine how much strength and control and confidence you need to be able to do that? Did you see that right foot on that last replay, too? Oh, it's unbelievable. Now, here's the, speaking of right foot, you can see his right foot is forward. Watch, as soon as he lands, he actually goes left foot forward on the next jump. There's nothing from bike flip. Just getting an up-close look at the tire tread as it's spinning around. Let's see, did you see how close the back tire was to his face as that rotates around? I've seen him do this before where the tire actually hits him in the shirt, and he still catches it and pulls that one off. So, again, best possible run score you can get is 100. What's it going to be? He's going to check into the mid-80s right there with an 84.66 in round one here. Jay Tui finds himself in the top spot. So let's check in with Kristen one more time before we get to our next rider. Yeah, thanks, Jimmy. I just talked to Andy Buckworth about that tailwind. They said, yeah, yesterday they had a great tailwind and it was helping propel them, but today a headwind and it's actually hurting them. So there you go. That would explain why we're seeing uh, these hiccups, that are, especially with that second set, because we talked about guys going a little long on that first set uh, in practice on Thursday and into yesterday's elimination round. See if they can adjust as we move deeper into this competition. David Godziak, we talked about him at the top of the show. He owns a BMX Dirt Gold from Sydney 2018 and your defending gold medalist from last year. Oh, the no-handed twister, and he goes Triple tail whip. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so he has to do with this straight tuck no-hander. You know, he's battling it as well. You know, yeah. I know that's not the one that he wanted. But at least he was able to ride through it. But that first trick was unbelievable. Yeah, you could see where he hung up a little bit on that third set right there. But how about that one-two combo on those first two sets? Yeah, so everything was going really well Look until that second one got him. But this is the trick last year. You remember, this trick took him out. Yeah, he actually got up, landed the trick, and, and won the competition. Well, it was wild. It took him out because his bars got stuck in his shirt. And then he had to came back, come back for his next run, and he had the shirt completely tucked in and wasn't going to let that happen again. And he walked out of 2022 with a gold medal. It's going to get a 65.33 here, and it's going to put him in that number two spot behind Jay Tui as of right now. So two riders left to go in the rotation before we get into round number two. Logan Martin's been extremely dominant in BMX Park. He owns a gold medal in this event as well. Wow, that was awesome. Four bar spin to 10. To I'm sorry. 720 bar to bar. Logan's got the momentum. And the switch triple whip. That was a huge run. He actually upped the ante from yesterday. So just another day in the office here for Logan Martin. He got that dirt win in Minneapolis in 2019. He actually won park and dirt on the same day back in 2019. Take a look here in flow motion. Yeah, so yesterday he was doing back foot bar spin, two tuck no hander. This time he switched it up with the tail up, which is a lot more difficult than what he was doing yesterday. He does the front flip to carry the speed over the long and low. And what he did over this last one, I mean, this is one that BMX riders really appreciate because he did the switch triple tail up, meaning the tail up is spinning the opposite direction that he usually does tail whips. Not many people, if any, in the world of BMX are doing tail whips that opposite direction three times around. 
Okay, so now we play the waiting game for the score here, and he checks in with an 81.33. That is not going to be enough to overtake his friend and fellow countryman, Jay Tui. So Logan Martin's going to find himself in that number two spot. So it's Jay Tui, Logan Martin, and David Godziak sitting in those top three spots with one more rider to go here in round number one. And it just happens to be our number oh, one qualifier. He is an X Games rookie. You see him holding the shirt up right there. Everybody's wearing the Pat Casey forever remembering. Dirt and Park Rider, overall legend Pat Casey, who we lost not too long ago. Oh, he did it again. He was a perfect. Oh, he just did a cash flow to go in on the second one. 360 tuck. And a 720 push. Oh, big. He was methodical with those in the elimination round and just throws that one around with ease here in round one of the final. See the reaction by Andy Buckworth right there? Oh my goodness, I can't believe wow. he's a rookie. I mean, you heard at the top of the show, the last time a rookie was the top qualifier in BMX Dirt. You have to go back to San Diego, the first year in San Diego, that was 1997. But look at this. Not two, but three tail whips in a backflip. Wow, <laughs> he lands it so well. But what he did on the next jump is what he upped the ante with. He ended up doing the cash roll tail whip and then finished the run the same way he did last time with the uh, 720 bar spin. I love how he does the bar spin on the second rotation right there. But man, what a first run from the X Games rookie. I can't handle Your it. Your reaction says it all right yeah. there. I mean, I mean, there's only been seven rookies that have ever medaled. And of those seven rookies in BMX 30 that have medaled, only two of them have ever taken gold. So this kid was absolutely on fire in the elimination round. Now it is in the hands of the judges here. You need better than an 84.66 to take that top spot. Remember, this is round number one. We get to do this again two more times. It is the best run that counts. So Whoa. they're having a bit of a conversation. He gets a 91. 90. We're Whoa. into the Let's 90s. Go. And he picks up where he left Whoa. off an elimination at the end of round one. Brady Baker in the top spot. How about Jay Tui in that number two spot and Logan Martin sitting in third as of right now. We are just getting started. Still plenty more to come here from Thayer's BMX Dirt. However, guess what? We're not going to break. We're actually going to keep this party going. We're going to rip through this commercial free courtesy of our friends over at Thayer's how about that in the 90? I mean, his first run yesterday in the elimination round, and then he comes out in the final. I mean, no nerves whatsoever. I mean, the kid has delivered time and time again. Yeah, I mean, I've seen him have that determined look in his eye so many times at the skate park growing up with him, watching him ride, watch him conquer these tricks. As a younger kid, though, now that he's growing up, he's got so much muscle mass. I mean, he's taken what I used to do at the skate park and just surpassed it by far. Here we go into round two once again with Canada's Mike Varga. Oh, he's got that 720 in the Nice, he's got the momentum this time. No, struggling again. He has to straight jump that third set, but look what he does over the last set. Nice, nice adjustment there to bring out that cash roll over that last one. But it looks like that when he tried to pedal to get that speed for that roller, that roller almost like threw off his momentum, which is really hard to do because you have so much uh, momentum carrying into that. You got to be prepared. You got to be perfectly timing that roller. But it was looking so good right here. Look at that. At his 720 no-handers are looking so good today As compared to yesterday. It, whatever he worked out, it, it's, it's working wonders for the trick. But here's that cash roll. And that's an awesome trick because it's a huge trick. It's a great trick. But on the last set like that, I'd say it was push through style trick. So you will actually see riders potentially go to that as like a plan B because they're able to carry their momentum over the jump if they don't have speed. A little bump up the score. He still had that straight jump over hit number three. So we'll get him out of the 30s. A 68.66. I'll put him in that number four spot. That's where he finished in this event last year out at Axel Hodges compound. He just missed the podium by one spot. His, uh, his dirt placings have improved over the years. And uh, he just missed the podium last year finds himself in that number four spot yet again. As we take our second look here at Brian Fox, he does own a medal in this event. He has a, a bronze from Minneapolis 2018. There's a double flip again. Oh, he's got that switch one and he gets the momentum this time. Front flip straight into the 1080. We got a full play for Brian Fox. That was a heavy run right there. Oh yeah, you've got a new toy in the booth. You've got the sliding scale when you can rank things. I didn't even see you slide in the awesome right there. Uh, you know, I'm sneaky with it. <laughs> it's a new technology. You've got a telestrator you get to play with a little bit later on when we do BMX Park. 
That was beautiful, though. That trick right there, especially talking about that second trick. I talked about it in the beginning. You know, it's, it's completely different than what people are doing because he's spinning the opposite direction. Look, if you see the 360 that he did, it was to the right. He usually spins to the left. So here, this is him spinning to the left, and that's a 1080. That's three rotations. That's the furthest we've seen anybody rotate so far. And there's the reaction <laughs> from home base. Salema is loving the 1080 at the end of that run, courtesy of Brian Fox. So you need an 81.33 or better to crack into the top three. You need a 91 yeah, flat or better. I think that's better than a 31. <laughs> I think yeah, that's going to be that's better, better than a 31, 31, Brian. 89. 89. It's going to put him in the medals for now. It puts him in the number two spot. Welcome right. back to the X Games, Brian Fox. All right. <laughs> so there. Just you go cool 91 and 89 and now an 84.66 so that'll bump logan martin down to that number four spot well this year has been filled with some highs and lows for ryan williams let's find out more about his mindset coming into this x games in this discover more presented by pacifico i'm ryan williams i'm 29 years old and i'm from the sunshine coast in australia ryan williams he has an arsenal of tricks I recently competed at the X Games in Japan and I managed to win my first ever gold medal in Park Best Trick. That's a Flare 900. That's BMX history right there. I owe that all to my best friend Luke Berlin, who recently passed away due to mental illness. He really made me uh, believe in myself during the training for that. That's it! Let's go with me! Oh. I want to carry that confidence that he gave me. Through on that jump right there. Yeah, he's still got two more events coming up over the berm. He's out there greeting the people back up on top. Wave to the fans right there. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing to watch that guy do his thing. He delivers time and time again. And at 92, 92, we have a new leader. Your Mega Park gold medalist now finds himself in the Let's top spot go! here in round two in Thayer's BMX Dirt. Let's go! Wow, we have a competition on our Luke, hands right now. I love you, I miss you. Let's go! You're right here, brother. Your hair's right here with me. Yeah, just like he was saying, his friend Luke's hair is actually in one of the so stickers good, right dude. there. Yeah, that's what so he was trying good. to tell us when we were calling Mega Park at Sloan Yard on Monday. He's wearing that helmet. There's still hair. Luke's hair in the he helmet. I mean, you can hear him. Anyway. I mean, that's cool. I did a Nitro live show with him anyway. last <laughs> month. Watching this guy. Every single run, he would look up at the sky and say, this one's for you, Luke. And he would roll in and he would do the most amazing things ever on that Giganta ramp. Look at that energy. I mean, look at... It's contagious. So yeah, he spreads it around to everybody and else. That's what's so amazing about Ryan Williams. Ah! I have no voice left, but I don't care. So since we have I a new you. leader, I that will run win. was... My mom's watching right now. I and love you, Mom. Mom's love pretty stoked Jay. right now with that love 92. So Let's that run was so epic from top to bottom. Let's watch it again, Scotty. Let's take another Here look at X Games. Got job number one out of the way. Made it into the finals. He's in for a second attempt. Double front flip. He's got good momentum this time. You're going to get this one around. There you go. stage left so at the end of that run just comes out greeting the fans right there and apparently we lost the feed right there on abc so we had to run that back so everyone could get the full view and appreciate what ryan williams just did to put him in that top spot one full point ahead of brady baker however this is still round two it is far from over it is the best run that counts here in thayer's bmx dirt so we get set to bring back in Andy Buckworth. I spoke with Andy. He has big plans for jump one and jump four. And if he can complete this, he'll be the first rider to do the variation in this style of trick on two different jumps. Drop it in at number one. Come on. Double back. Double back. Double back. Double back. Double back. Double back. Oh, again, that, that, that second jump is... He's having a hard time with it. I don't, I don't know if the momentum coming off of that double flip, if he's just not getting enough of that transition to give his momentum carrying over that second one or not. But it's, it's rare to see, and I know it's bothering him, but I do know that he will make 
the right proper adjustments for run number three. He wants to get that run. Yeah, that'll put him down to that number three run right there, but he's one that could deliver in high pressure situations as well. We are in round two out of three here. Thayer's BMX Dirt Final. If you're just joining us, it's Ryan Williams sitting at the top spot here in 92. Brady Baker in that number two position with a 91 and Brian Fox in a bronze medal position for now with an 89 flat. This is being brought to you commercial free Beachside, if you will, courtesy of our friends over, over at Thayer's. So we get set to bring back in Jay Tui. He was in the top spot for a little while. He now finds himself on the outside looking in. He's been built down to that number four spot with an 84.66. On the beautiful back from Superman again, switches his feet. Triple tail, switches his feet again. Nothing for a bike flip over the long and low. What's he got over the last set right here? Oh, boom! Just had to dab a foot on that one right there. I, I think he was. I think he made a decision mid spin right there. I think he was looking for that 1080, but I, I think he, he, at the last second he held back. But man, what he was doing up until that last jump right there was special. I mean, did you see the height and the extension that he had on hit number one? I mean, the pop that he's got, he, I mean, he loves the big jumps. He says, the bigger, the better for me. He doesn't care. Yeah, he's not scared at all to go absolutely huge. Look at that. that. Just disconnecting from the bike and just hoping it's going to come around. But he did the nothing from bike flip over the third set, which is huge. That was the biggest trick that we've seen over that third set right there. It's a big gamble. And it was going to pay off if he was able to get the rotation on this last one. But I believe, just judging by the way he rotated here, he was looking for an extra spin. And he made a decision that he was like, All right, I'm, I have to stop at 7. I don't feel comfortable doing the 10. And I think it was a good decision. He was able to ride away from it. You know, he was able to go into run the, the next run. See the fans weighing in there with the tweets right there. This BMX dirt is gnarly. That is an understatement. And we still have the rest of this lineup to go. And we still have another round yet to go here before we hand out those medals. So we'll look to Jay Tui here in round number three as we bring in David Godziak. He's won this thing two times. He's got a gold from X Games Sydney 2018. He took the gold last year at Axel Hodges compound. He was your number three qualifier. So he has to ride third to last year. He finds himself in a number seven spot as of right now. There it is, a no-handed twister, and he's got it clean. Into the triple tail with momentum. The cash roll on the third. One more hit to go. Oh, no. <laughs> he threw it up twice on there. Gives it the double tuck right there. The no-hander, quick reset, and throw it again in for the <laughs> second measure. Ryan Williams likes it. Wow, it was awesome to see him pull all the way through on that run right there, because I know that first trick is so insane. Let's break it down real quick. The twister, Look at the no extension. Hander. So that's like a quirk off access 1080. It's all, but it, it kind of comes off of this cash roll, which is a the same thing which Ooh, would be a forward rotation short. 720. So, and that's why he went for the front flip no hander no hander on that one. You know, he knew I I confidently have the speed to get this one. It was clean. It was perfect. Andy Buckworth's reaction says it all. Salema again over there at home base. Can't believe it. He's got the best seat in the house right now. Except for us being over here trackside right now, but what is this going to be? He was down there in seventh pre-run. I mentioned he's won this thing twice. There's a very short list of people in the history of BMX third at the X Games that have won this thing more than one time. He's got two. TJ Lavin has two. Ryan Nyquist has two. And then you have Kyle Baldock and Corey Bowen that have three wins apiece in this event. Your current leader on the right, the man whose run we just saw on the left. The judge is talking it over. It's going to be good enough for an 87. Not going to get him into the top three. So your defending gold medalist is going to find himself in the number four spot with one more run to go. We have Logan Martin two up next. He's in that number six spot. Back to bars for the tail whip. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh. 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 Look at the 720 bar spin to bar spin, but he just didn't have the weight on top of the bike. He was kind of off to the side and slid out. Which is very rare. You know, it's, it's when you see Logan crash, it's, it's you know, you almost don't believe it because he just demands perfection out of every bit of his riding. Yeah, the consistency that he has, whether it's dirt, whether it's park, and he's still got park coming up later on. We've still got dirt best trick. We've got park best trick going on on Sunday. So it'll all come down to that third run there for Logan. Brady Baker, your rookie, your top qualifier, now finds himself in the number two spot. Perfect back to triple tail whip. Oh, my goodness! He just took over 
for a cash flow oh. double team. <laughs> well, you heard Ryan Williams look at him earlier when he walked back and said, I'm in the lead now, but this guy's going to step it up, and he's trying to do that right here. Oh, he did say it. Rolling the dice. Man, that, that was huge. You have to, though. You're in this position. You're staring down your first ever gold. And Ryan, like, Ryan Williams has so many big tricks. you got to step into your bag. Look at the crazy rotation right here. He's trying to find the pedals, but look, he just couldn't get to them. The bike was like sucked up against his body. You need that separation to be able to get your feet on the pedals. All right, so uh, just like that, he yeah. said it. That'll get done next. Yeah, I mean, he was so close right there, so he'll throw that one out. So he'll stay in that number two spot for right now. We've completed two rounds of runs here at Thayer's BMX Dirt. It's Ryan Williams sitting in the top spot for now. One more chance for all these riders. We'll find out who's claiming gold when we return. I'm Kevin Praza. I am 28 years old. I'm from Tucson, Arizona. Fun is the name of the game when it comes to Kevin Praza. So the last few years of X Games have been a little bit different with the pandemic, yet really incredible with everyone and all the level of riding. But I'm looking forward to this new venue in Ventura, California. More crowd, more people feeding off the energy, which is something I thrive off of. That smile's just infectious. One thing that I truly enjoy about riding a new course is just finding things that are not normally ridden. Pedal grind up and over the roller. He's so creative, he's so talented. I want to be a highlight, I want to be able to stand out and show my personality through my riding, through the tricks that I decide to do and, and how I do them. Win or lose, my goal is to always treat people to something different, unique, and uh, my personal flavor to it all. Another impressive ride for Mr. Kevin Peraza. But Kevin Peraza may not have made the final here in BMX Dirt. However, he did make BMX X Games history last night. He took street gold. That makes him the only rider to have ever taken a gold medal in park, street, and dirt. So congratulations to you. And we still see Kevin Peraza later on today because we have BMX Park coming up tonight on ESPN. However, right now we've got one more round of runs to go here in Thayer's. BMX dirt final, and what a battle this is shaped up to be, Scotty. Ryan Williams sitting in that top spot with a 92. Your rookie, your top qualifier, Brady Baker, sitting right behind him with a 91, and he tried to do a brand new trick in round number two. I mean, this thing is far from over. It's unbelievable. The level of riding that we are getting to see in today's competition, I had a feeling that this could be the event of X Games. This could be the most progressive one here, and we're going right into round number three right now. Third and final attempt for all of these riders at 100-point scale, what the judges are working on. It's your best run that counts. We take our last look at Mike Varga. The course for the tail whip. Yes, he's got the speed. from the 720 win. He's had some issues those first two runs, and it comes down to that third and wow. final run, and he delivers. That was a big run right there. <laughs> there was a lot of variety, too, which I really liked about it. But man, when you're battling two runs where you can't make it through, and the pressure's on, the step up in that moment was huge. But let's look at the slow-mos right here. That back, that seven, court 720 no-hander, it's flirting in the line of that 360 back flip, and then the 720 tail up, you can see that this one's upright, his other one was cork, but he's hoping, he's looking, he's trying to get that rotation, gets that back wheel right down to grip, and corrects him around, rides away with that momentum, oh, he's loving it right now, I'm really happy for him. He owns a park bronze and three park best trick gold medals, but he's never medaled in dirt. His first appearance, he got 11th, and in 2018, he got a 6th, and 2019, a 5th, he had to settle for 4th. We're right here Last five. year, he's in that number 7, but you gave him an awesome, you get the slide to you. What's he get an 87.66, so it'll put him back in that number 4 spot again. Not enough to get a medal, but again, jumps him up from 7th into that number 4 position. And again, you'll see him in park and park best trick later on this weekend. Brian Fox finds himself looking at a potential bronze medal. He's done this once before. He has a bronze medal for Minneapolis in 2018. He comes down the rolling for his third and final attempt. 
Nice double backflip. Oh, he just did not have the right pump to be able to get the tricky one in there. But he's going to put on a show for everyone. Yeah, again, to, <laughs> to tell the story of coming back, I mean, it wasn't even a year ago. He fractured the T12 vertebrae in his back after over rotating a double backflip. So to come back from that in less than a year and uh, find yourself here looking at a potential medal here, I'd welcome back Brian Fox. Yeah, I know how proud he is just to be able to get that double backflip over this huge, scary jump. But to be in a podium position right now, oh, it means the world to him. Yeah, especially, I mean, with the level, the depth of this field, he's still got part coming up later on this evening as well. Introducing X Games Experience, a whole new digital engagement and rewards program that takes your fan experience to the next level. Scan the QR code now to start earning. So that is going to bring up this gentleman right there, your current leader, Ryan Williams. He's got one in the books that's got him in that top spot. Now I'm a little nervous because what does he do now? I mean, it's awesome to watch, but he also scares you a little bit as well. Yeah, so he's he's priming something up here on top of the roll, and he's notorious for that. He always tries to get mentally prepared. He focuses on the tricks that he's doing. So I'm excited to see what's about to come out right now. <laughs> <laughs> Got to put the mouth guard in right there. Yeah, he's all about progression and trying out or trying to send never been done before tricks. And here we go. He's your current leader trying to build on this one in his third and final run. Double front flip again. Double front flip. Look at that. Front flip, no hander. Coming into that final set. Oh, he just set the last roll over the last set. What? Brady's like. Did you really just do that at the end of your run? <laughs> the Aussie roll, that's a huge double back for 360 right there. I just can't believe that Ryan Williams has a double problem in his run and also a double back from 360. That was unbelievable. Yeah, you see the fan tag there. Go Williams, that one for his boy Luke. Wow. <laughs> Where do you start? I'm at a loss for words right now. Like, I'm trying not to become numb to the double front flip that we're seeing every single time landing perfect. But this is what he was priming up. He was doing this one up there. He was throwing that bike away the way he separates so far and just whips the bike around. I was going to say, the way that that thing slingshots back underneath his feet right there. But look at the Aussie roll. He gets the 360 rotation around in the first one, and then he's looking around in the second one. Yes, it sneaks it in there. Did you see where that back tire just touches down right there, just underneath the lip? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I think I froze in time for a second. I almost threw my notes over my head after that one. <laughs> yeah, that's that oh, right. Oh, that was yeah, the toe. Yeah. Yeah. The other it's one now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's been talking about it all week long. He's all banged up, but you can't tell by by yeah. the way, this guy's been riding. As we mentioned before, he's already got a gold medal in BMX Mega Park. So your current leader looking at a potential gold medal here. However, we still have a handful of riders left to go. Andy Buckworth sitting in that number eight spot as of right now. Remember, three rounds of runs. It's the best run that counts. It's Ryan Williams, Brady Baker, Brian Fox. Buckworth, Double back with no hander. Pushing through with the front foot, which is good. Oh, no, he pulled the plug on it. He pulled the plug on it. Once again, he landed low on that first set right there. Just wasn't able to get that momentum. But real quick, I want to touch back because I think there's going to be people people wondering why Ryan Williams' score is stated. It hasn't changed. His foot dragged on that one. That's why he said his toe hurts. So we've still got a handful of runs left to go. We'll have the conclusion of Thayer's BMX Dirt when we come back to Ventura.
You can get your official X Games gear over there at xgamesshop.com. Ryan Williams is the man of the hour as of right now. Your current leader with a 92 flat. Looking at a potential gold medal here in Thayer's BMX Dirt Final, Scotty. Unbelievable riding from Ryan Williams. I mean, just knowing that he did a double front flip and a double back flip in the same run was just, it's just crazy to think that that's where we are in 2023. He's competing in four different events out here this weekend. So that's Reed Casey right there. It's Pat Casey's son. It's awesome to see him here, having fun with the riders, just enjoying BMX, just like he, just like he always has. So we're down to the final four here. We take our last look at Jay Tui. He had an 84.66 and had him in that top spot in round number one. He now finds himself in that number six position. Superman again, switching his feet. Oh, he had to settle for the double tail at that time. Oh, he has the straight jump over that third set yep. right there. Oh, that's a tough break for Jay. Oh, man, it's always so hard because there's so much building up for that third run. You, you want to be able to stop that run that you've had on your mind this whole weekend, and it's always hard coming up short, but Jay's riding out of here, and that's what we have to uh, appreciate. So he's going to have to settle for six. So now we're down to our final three. And of those final three, two of them are on the outside looking in. You've got David Godziak, your defending gold medalist. He got up to that number four spot. Then Mike Varga bumped him down. So he now finds himself in a fifth position there with that 87 flat. To overtake the top three, you need better than an 89. Brian Fox holding on to that spot. Here comes David. Twister no-hander. Into the triple tail up again. Over that long and low. Cash roll bar spin. Oh, oh you're routine. Did he hang <laughs> Come on. Wow. How was... did he not get whiplashed off the bike oh, on that third set landing? That was a dangerous, dangerous. Oh, that could have gone wrong. Terrible. Very right wrong. Oh, I'm so glad that he was able to correct the bike enough to carry the momentum and get the front with no hander. Wow. That's impressive. You were reacting and you slid an awesome in there. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> Jimmy, I can't handle this, all right? There's just way too much action happening and there's here. There's so much going on. It's, a, it's like the hits just keep coming. Look at that triple tail, getting that full rotation around there, catching the bike. But what he did on that third jump was where he upped the ante when he did the cash roll bar spin, and he, he fixed himself. He, he saved the trick and was able to land a clean front flip no-hander. He got the full extension, did in case everything landed nice and smooth. So as I mentioned pre-run, he had Mike Brian Fox is sitting in that bronze medal spot, so you need a better than 89 to overtake him. Be better than a 91 for silver and a 92 to overtake that top spot. Whoa, that was wicked. That's an understatement right there. So it's going to 88.33. He's going to overtake Mike Varga and go back to that number four spot. But your defending gold medalist is not going to get into the medals here in 2023. So that means Logan Martin is the last man standing that can shake up our top three. Back to Boris into Taylor. He's combo on the first double. There is seven to eight double Boris. Oh. It's perfect. Straight front flip over the third. Whoa. That could have been four right there. Yeah. That could have been four right there. And I think, judging by the way he's reacting, I'm comfortable saying that was four. Uh, yeah, but it, it happened so fast at real time speed. I was like, was that quad? Oh, it's hard to see. It just happened so fast. And we need to get a replay of that one for sure so we can count it. But it just goes to show how good Logan is and how controlled Logan's riding. And when we have to sit there and check ourselves, did he get the fourth rotation on there? Watch this third hit. Oh, we're not yeah, going to get the replay on the third one. So there's one, there's two, there's three, and we Look got an oh. opposite switch quadruple tail from Logan Martin. Wow. Look at the reaction. I mean,. Look at everybody in the athlete staging area. I mean, that reaction says it all right there. So what's it going to be here? Oh, this is tough. Again, the best possible run score you can get is 100. This score taking a little bit of time to come in. The judges are talking this one over. Your top spot right now, a 92. What is it going to be on this third and final run here for Logan Martin? Come on. I got kids to feed. <laughs> oh, no. Steve. 
on the left waiting for that score here. Brian Fox saying, I got kids to feed. I need that bronze medal. Don't bump me out, Loki. <laughs> wow, they're taking a lot of time. They're talking this one over at 91.33. That's going to put him into the medals, put him in the silver medal spot. That's a tough break right there for Brian Fox. That'll put Brady Baker down to third. Not enough to overtake the top spot, but Logan Martin is going to get a dirt medal. Dude, I'll take that either. You blue ball me! We've got one more rider to go. It's our top qualifier. Before we get to him, let's check in one more time with Kristen. After our Willie and Logan Martins run, you could see Brady Baker's reaction. The wheels are turning in his head. He just said he knows where he can make an adjustment. After run two, he knows he can clear it. This rookie is confident. He said the goal is a variation here, guys. You inspired me my whole Well, you saw how close he came to at the last go around. Absolutely, and it comes down to this. Is our and he last told Brian right, Williams, he said, It's happening the next go around. I love the confidence and this I kid has. I believe him. I do believe Pat, him. Let's go. But we, this is our last rider to be able to get the gold medal from Ryan Whoa. Williams. He's on the podium in his first X Games. Can he do it? It all comes down to this last run for Brady Baker. Backflip, triple tail whip. Cash roll bar spin. Got a little wonky on the landing, but saves it. Truck driver with a switch bar spin. Cash roll down whip over the last set right there. That is a crazy looking trick. He can't even believe it right now. It just goes right to the bike after that. Oh my goodness. Whoa, wild, wild run. And again, to tell that story, because this is I'll worth repeating. The last time that a rookie was the top qualifier in a BMS third elimination, you have to go back to 1997. Ryan Nyquist did it all the way back in 1997. Look at the emotion on Brady's face. I know he's just so glad to have this opportunity. He's walking away with the medal, but what medal is it going to be? The backflip triple tail up. You can see right here, he kind of, uh, his wheels dragged a little bit. But to do this trick, it doesn't even make sense. It's like a decade, and then it turns into a front flip, the way the rotation works there. That cash roll downside tail up, it's, it's, a, it's a gnarly trick. It's unbelievable. He rode away from it, clean as could be. The emotion on his face, though, right there, that says it all. He's just so proud to be here. He's getting his first medal regardless. But what's it going to be? I mean, to ride away from that, you're the top qualifier. You get to ride last after everything that's just gone on in this competition. You see Logan Martin come up and jump into the medals right there. You get to go last in your X Games rookie appearance, right? I mean, this is absolute insanity that we've just seen here in this Thayer's BMX Dirt Final. So he needs better than a 92, he he's done it three, 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 three. he gets the win on the last run! On the last run, the rookie does it! Seven times rookies have medaled in BMX dirt, only two of them have ever taken gold, and he is now the third person to do it. Brady Baker, welcome to the X Games! I don't even know what to say. Do you see hear everyone him. chanting his name right now? To see Brady go from that 10 year old riding with me at the skate park while I was getting ready for the X Games. He just won on the last first run. X Games medal in dramatic, epic, storybook oh fashion. I mean, one of the gnarliest wow. contests I've seen in a long time. And for that kid to come out in the last run and put that down and go a full point ahead right there of Ryan Wood. I mean, hats off to all of these guys. Absolutely, I was saying it from the get-go that this was going to be the competition of the X Games. I knew it. It was amazing. It showed BMX in the best light. And to see Brady to be able to stop this one-of-a-kind run with a trick that it's like you can't even believe it when you see it, that it actually works. Unreal. And that's Brady's dad right there. That's Alex, who's been supporting him throughout his life of BMX, making it possible. I just know that this means the world to him to get that medal around Brady's dad. The reaction says it all. Let's send it down to Kristen with our winner. <laughs> Brady, with the support of your competitors, earning your first ever gold medal and your debut at X Games, what will you remember most about this moment? <laughs> this is the most insane feeling ever. You no, know, I've been working so hard for this day to come just to be at, at X Games and to get a gold medal as a rookie. It, it's a dream come true. Getting to compete with all my idols and everybody I've looked up to forever, it, it doesn't feel real. I'm so happy right now.
You've been training with Daniel Sandoval, with Andy Buckworth. What kind of advice did they give you heading into this competition? All those guys have been amazing mentors and just have been looking out for me for the, the past year. And, you know, it's just, it's amazing. I'm so happy. Congratulations. A magic moment for Brady here, guys. I mean, a magic yeah! moment is a complete and total understatement. I mean, the performance that he's had, no nerves whatsoever, and to just adjust the way that he had, and I mean, just the confidence that he had. Like a true professional, unbelievable. I'm so proud of Brady. I can't believe it. Just, just happy for the Brady, uh, for Baker family. Wow, what a competition. What a way to win. That is an understatement as well. Well, Logan Martin walks out of here with a bronze. That's his fifth total dirt medal right there. Ryan Williams takes his first ever BMX dirt medal here. And Brady Baker comes in in his rookie performance and takes home X Games dirt gold. Summer, sun, waves, sand between toes, X Games. Summer rocks to a soundtrack. Skateboard trucks grinding rails. A 93 for BMX wheels whirring. <laughs> Motorcycles soaring into the clear blue sky. The game has changed. I don't believe what I have seen. Athletes, fans, together, cheering, stoked. Summer is sweat, work, and pushing boundaries. Kobe Raw! It's never been done, and dreaming of gold. Summer is a vibe. Like X Games, it's over too soon. Get some while you can. X Games, better when you are here. X Games California is brought to you by Thayer's, natural remedies for better looking bare skin. Visa, a proud partner of X Games California. And X Pass from Exponential Fitness, proud partner of X Games California.